Hey guys, Kev here. And I have an unboxing to do for you. I don't know what's in here. This is from Massachusetts. Uh, it says Aaron, I think. I don't know. I don't remember buying anything off an Aaron, but uh, hey, let's find out. I got the GOM from Renegade Provisions Co. And uh, let's cut into it. EDC firing bullet. Oh, this is the um, this is the Desert Eagle toy. Okay, this is pretty cool. So the company's name is actually A. <laughs> That's the brand A, and it's called EDC firing bullet. Is the toy? I thought they were calling it the Desert Eagle. That must be the marketing. No card. I don't think. Let's see. No card there. Nothing here. Anything here? Nope. Okay, so that's what you get. And you get a vacuum sealed bag. Now this is in stainless steel and um, they are currently actually producing these in zirconium. And I believe because I ordered one of these, I get first dibs on Zerk, but obviously I paid for this. This was, I think they're $188 new. Uh, which is, you know, a good amount of money, but it's a uh, really good packaging, by the way. Like a nice Tuya case. But it's, a, you know, a fidget toy with magnets, and it's supposed to look like a, a Desert Eagle, obviously. Now, this is, for me, going to be a desk toy because it's got some weight to it, right? Um, and, yeah, so let's check it out. This is number 21 of 300. You have a switch right here, like a safety. Doesn't make any sound. Just goes up and down. You have a hammer back here that goes up and down. Be cool if it clicked back and then you could click it forward. Um, down here you have this guy. Again, doesn't click into place. It just pulls back and slides forward. So you're just doing this. It's on a spring. And then you have the um, bullet, so to say. Look at that. It's on three magnets. It's pretty cool looking. So you can take the bullet out. Does this come off? No. Okay. And then you're going to have, I'm guessing, you're going to have one central magnet down there. Can you see that? Straight down the pipe there. And then here you have a magnet. And then you have the three on the bottom, I guess, that catch along the way. So that's kind of your main toy, I guess. So, initial impressions are not a fan. So firing bullet it looks cool right it does definitely got cool looks to it but with those looks i think needs to come something fun some function that's cool right uh it's a very awkward sort of thing in the hand right uh the magnets are not that strong so i don't get i'm not getting any sort of satisfaction out of clicking this down like it's just very soft if that makes sense. When I do that, I want to feel... Hold on, let me grab something. Here's a Zerk soap from ACEDC, right? Out. Right? Um, here is the CP2 from Mackie. And this one you slide up, it has a rail down here, but magnets on the top. And when you close this, it's very satisfying as those flop down like that, right? Here's a size comparison for you. It's a little bigger than the CP2. Um, here's the Compaform Argyle V1. And just in terms of magnet down, It's very strong, right? It's got a good feeling to it. Um, the CP3.
And then you have even stuff like this. Boo. Um, even stuff like this, the uh, 3D printed, 3DC printing. Um, forget what this is called, but. You see, you see how it kind of clacks down? This. I don't know. It's okay. It need, The magnets need to be stronger is basically what I'm saying. Um, and then the rest of it, you, you, this is kind of cool. You can pull back on it. Right? That's why that extra magnet is down there, I guess. And then they have some repulsion going on inside, so you, it flies back forward. Um, this does nothing just a spring-loaded uh, hammer. This, nothing. Spring-loaded slide thingy. Um, and this just goes up and down. So, uh, I, I want, I really wanted to, I, I was excited about it, but I wasn't sure how it would feel in hand, right? And I think my suspicions have been, um, sort of found out here um it's fine but uh i would not spend 180 dollars again on this especially in stainless steel for that price i think i should have got zerk or titanium um but i get it there's a lot of machining that goes into this i i just think there was opportunity here right this could have been a cool uh clicker you know, there, there could have been magnets that go down and you click back and forth. Um, this probably could have been something like that, too. This does have a little bit to it, but it kind of just slides around. And then this definitely could have been somehow implemented. Now, can I... Does this do anything when I pull it? No. Yeah, see, it's not related at all. You can't see in there, right? No. Um, so it'd be cool if this clicked back and forward, back and forward or something, but it's just a spring loaded thing. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll grow on me or something, but, um, much like the last one I just unboxed, I think both of these might get unloaded quick, but I don't know who's going to buy them. Like, you know, it's not like knives where everybody wants everything. I, I think we'll see what happens but maybe if i put a good price on it i can move these things um but yeah anyway so that is the uh desert eagle toy whatever they're calling it the firing what do they call it the firing bullet um i'm glad that they made it you know um i'm hoping that there's people out there that really like it um uh, and they make more because they are actually currently making the Zerk ones. I've seen those. Um, but it's just not for me. I, I'm not getting any satisfaction out of it. And that's what this is all about for me, the fidget stuff. Um, I need to be getting haptic feedback and satisfaction. And, and it's just not enough here. The, the magnets aren't strong enough. And this floppy, springy stuff just doesn't do anything for me. So... Anyway, it was cool to check out, uh, and uh, we'll see what happens. If a full review comes up on this, it's because I ended up liking it, or you know, I don't know why. We'll find out, but as of right now, it's not going to be sticking around. So um, thank you guys for checking it out. If you're interested, there's a Facebook group. I got this out of the CN Fidget group, which I think now is called like the A++ uh, fidget Facebook group. Uh, there's like another group that sells this because it was two guys who were like dealers or something and now they're they split up. I have no idea. It's very confusing. Um, but the company's called A. <laughs> uh, so I am not into this. So I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later. Hey guys, so I just want to give an update on this guy um, because I've had it now a few hours and I just wanted to kind of update and uh, I think it's broken. So I don't know what happened here, but it does not work the same way. Let's see. So 
before you could pull down here and it would kind of bounce off of that magnet in the back. It's just kind of all loosey goosey now. Um, if I line it up like the way it was, it was lined up like this and it would sit like this and then you would go out and back in. It's just not functioning properly. It's just spinning around in there now. See that? So I don't know what could have happened because there's nothing. There's no like move. Does this do something? I doubt the safety thing does anything, but. Acting weird. Maybe it does. I don't know. No. See how it just like pops down? It's like broken. So that sucks. Um, yeah, so I'm going to contact the guy I bought it off of, the group. And I will find out what's going on. I don't know why, you know. Uh, so anyway, that is the Desert Eagle toy, the firing bullet. I think it needs a little more time in the cooker um, before it is out to the public. Oh, let's see, are we back? Look at that, we're back. What? So confused. Look at that. It's fine now. Okay, so we take this out, place it in. Oh, a magnet came out. Okay, all sorts of things going on here. It's made out of steel, right? So it's gonna stick, I would assume, but it's gonna come back out, obviously. And now it's back to being weird. Okay, anyway, uh, I will contact them and let them know what's going on. They can decide what they wanna do. Uh, but yeah, I, I just think it needs a little more work before they sell these for 180 to 170 dollars, whatever it was I paid. So, um, yeah, I wish I, I thought it was a cool looking design and everything. I just think it, it, it's a little bit rough around the edges, so to speak. So, um, I think if they keep working on it, they can probably perfect this a bit more, strengthen the magnets, make sure they stay in make these a little more tactile, a little more worth having. Like, it just seems weird to just, you know, this could be a fun game in itself, just clicking all the way back and forth. Um, this could click back and forward, back and forward, you know what I mean? And then this, this is okay. But again, no clicks or anything, it just slides. It doesn't stop really, you have to like, I don't know. So anyway, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Peace.